How's it going everyone? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 19 for my playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So guys, in the last episode, we actually took down our second divine beast, Varudanya. So now we can actually make our way into the Goron City. And you know Bo's here thanking us so much and all that for all that we did. We can actually go claim our reward for defeating our second divine beast. So after talking to the you know Bo, he actually says, go talk to the boss. He has your reward and all that. So we're actually going to keep making our way all the way over there. And the boss is actually just chilling up here. Look at him. He's just chilling here. My man, dude. What's up, dog? So now we got to have a nice big speech with him. He's going to thank us everything and give us our reward. Boom! Complete the main quest for Divine Beast Varudanya, and he actually says our reward is just chilling in here for us. And it is right here. It is actually the sword that the Rook used to wield. It is the Boulder Breaker. It's a two-handed weapon that hits for 60. It is an absolute beast. It is also a perma weapon just like the Light Scale Trident that we got from defeating the first Divine Beast. So guys, for the rest of this episode, I'm actually going to be shrine hunting. So we're going to be completing a few different shrines and maybe opening up the next fairy fountain. But for right now, we are actually right here in the shrine that leads right in the Goron City. And if you make your way down here, you got this little cart path just chilling right here. We're actually going to bring out our round bombs, hop on this little cart, and drop the bomb right inside of this hole. And check this out, everyone. Bam! You can shoot off the bomb. We get going on a coat car. Coat. A cart coaster. <laughs> It was like a tongue twister. Oh, no, I didn't want to throw the bomb. Now I need to wait. Now we're stuck out here. <laughs> All I want to do is drop the bomb. Because we got to drop these bombs right here. Actually, we're staying still. We got to get a little closer. Get in there. Drop it in there. And then shoot it off. And we get grooving along again. We actually have to make our way all the way along this path. And I believe there's a shrine within this skull little area here. Where's it at? Right there, see the shrine, you guys can see it all the way at the end of the cart path. You can actually keep taking out these bombs, keep dropping them, keep making our way over here. Look at us go! There we go, the shrine is now blinking. Drop another bomb, yeet! <laughs> we're grooving along here, maybe one more bomb will make us there. Maybe this one might just be able to take us there, but we're gonna get some extra speed. Yeet! <laughs> and we can make it to the shrine, look at this. Making our way into the shrine, it is called Blue Flame. Well, we gotta figure out what to do here. So right now we got all this spiky little path. We're actually gonna grab our magnesis because I can see it's metal. Hold that up, drop it, and run up, run through there. Now we got. I guess we're gonna need blue flame here because it's called blue flame. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. There's a blue flame here. Okay, so we are actually going to maneuver this path here. Up, up on this one, and then maneuver this path over here. No, grab onto the metal block. There you go. Like, I'm wondering if we can. Grab the path and move us along here. No, we cannot. We're actually gonna have to like make a little diagonal path here. Move this over like so. We can hop on this. We can move this one over like that, I believe. We can actually jump like that. And, oh, we did make it. Yeet on over here and grab ourselves this chest. What we got here? A royal bow. Yes, dude. That is our best bow we found so far. I'm actually gonna drop something for it. Let's go check out our bows. Which one's going? Which one's going? I think this one's gotta go. Now, oh, this 26 is barely used. We're gonna drop a 25, pick up a 38. 38 hits like a truck, dude. Let's go. These are one of the stronger bows within the game, which is nice to have. Now we're gonna hop over here. Let me make this jump. We're going for it. No! It's all good. We're just gonna move this one back there just a little bit. We're actually gonna make a glide this way and land here. There we go. Now we can just hop up on this one, hop on this one. Oh, and they just have torches laying here for us. And of course, we can't carry anything, but we have one already, which is nice. So we can light this blue flame with the torch and walk it all the way back to this little pedestal. I don't know what to call it, but we can light this one up and it will open up that door. I'm guessing we're just going to have to bring this blue flame, dodging all these little water things over there in order to light that one. Can we go under this thing? Can we? No, we cannot. So there has to be another way. So guys, if we actually come all the way over here, we can actually make this thing stop with our stasis. Look at this. We just got to line it up, right? We're going to stop that with our stasis. Light this torch and get grooving along. Can we make it? Come on! No! 
Come on! Yes! <laughs> so that's how it's done. Go there, and now we can light this torch. And make this little path right here come down. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So, guys, if we actually make our way back to this blue flame over here, you can see that path that goes up and down. We actually need to light that torch. And in order to do that, we bring out our regular arrows and shoot this blue flame through, or this arrow through this blue flame, in order to light that one up. And there we go. The path will come out. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, now we can start running and making our way back and keep going with this shrine. This shrine is actually, like, a big shrine, to be honest. It's bigger than normal, like, look how much stuff there is to do. We had, like, three torches so far, we got, like, four different chests, <laughs> like... <laughs> now we can hit this button, whatever this does. And, of course, there's a spike ball. We're gonna pick that up and stop it. And it's tracks, I don't know. Are we gonna need this? You know what? I'm gonna use this. Ow! Give me that. <laughs> I thought I just ripped on myself, but we're just gonna use this thing. Bring it over to this cage. Start ripping up on you fools. And I just, like, start whacking everything. Get out of here, boys! Block that shot. What you want? I whack him or something? Die! All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whack him up. And now we got a little chest over here. See, I knew the metal ball could be used for something. <laughs> Giant ancient core. These things are actually one of the best things you can find within shrines and everything. Because they have so much value within, like, for, uh... Like, building ancient material and all that. So, we gotta wait for this flame to come up real quick. Like you can build really good bows, really good weapons and armor with those stuff. We gotta grab that chest, but we're gonna light this first. Just to open up that little cage. What is this? Should I just keep going and just unlock all that? Now, we're gonna grab this chest real quick. Run over here. This better be worth it. Better be worth my time. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I, I'd say that's worth my time. <laughs> uh, we gotta drop something now. Let's go into our weapons inventory. What are we dropping? I'm gonna drop the torch. We're gonna drop the cobble crusher. They see it later. Pick up this giant flame bait, flame blade, because it does so much damage. It's a two-handed weapon, and it has burn effect to it, so it does even more than that, which is awesome. You can light this torch once again. What do we have to do? Light. Do this. Okay. Okay, now we got a little puzzle going on here. How are we supposed to do this? I got it, I got it. I already know what to do. Ready? Yeah, bring out our stasis. We're gonna stop that one. Bring out the torch. Light that one. Bring out the bow. Switch over here. Yeet it on over there. And open up this little gate. That puzzle ain't stopping us. We too good. We can make our way through here. Does it keep it open? Yeah, so we'll keep it open. Grab another blue flame. Walk it on over here. Jeez, guys. This is just such a pain. <laughs> Look at all this different stuff we have to do. How are we supposed to do this? Okay. Do we have to do, like, a perfect shot? And light them both? I think that's what we have to do. Legit, a perfect shot. And light both of these. Line it up. Line it up. Yee. Boom! Just like that. Creates an updrift for us. Now we can actually glide in here. Make our way over here. There we go. Are you kidding me? Dude, more blue flames? This is just ridiculous. So, guys, we actually have to go down here, land on this platform again, bring out the bow. And there we go. That's the only way I, I figured out lighting that. No! Get on the drift! Yes! <laughs> so now we can actually get on this drift. Get this blue flame right here. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll just shoot an arrow. It's so much easier just to shoot the arrow. And now we can actually just do this. We're going to have to bring the blue flame over here. So we're going to go stasis here. Then magnesis. Oh, come on. Magnesis it. Push it all the way out. Past that. There we go. So it cannot get wet anymore. Look at that. Now we're grooving along here. Grab our magnesis again. I'm not too worried about that chest. Slide that all the way over there. Pin it up against the wall. Now we can glide on over here. And grab this blue flame on this torch. We got these dang guardians. Look how annoying they are. Let me just walk past them. Leave me alone! No! <laughs> Come on, all I need to do is light that one torch. Let me light it! Alright, alright. We're good, we lit it. Now if you come here, you actually stand in the middle here. Do a charge spin attack and yeet! You can light all those torches all at once. And actually be able to finish off this shrine. I believe this is the longest shrine we have done. This one took us actually a good amount of time. <laughs> 
So guys, after we did that shrine, we actually fast traveled to Varudanya, which is on top of that volcano. And we glided all the way down here and we are making our way all the way over here to this shrine right here on the map. This yellow pin. So we, we're just going to keep gliding along here. Look at this view. Look at this. We got lava and everything. It's all like the hot springs over here. It looks awesome here. So we're just going to keep gliding and making our way over here to do another shrine for this video. Finally making it over here. Look at this view, baby. I love all the watery stuff. Like, dude, it looks so cool. Well, we finally make it over here, and we got just like a Goron chilling in front. Look at this. So, we cannot actually head inside the shrine because this Goron's being annoying. He's just like blocking it off, and we have to earn respect in order to gain entrance to this shrine. So, we have to do like his little mini game. So, we're just going to go talk to him. Pump it up, brother, he says. <laughs> this is where people come to get ripped and shreddy, he said. We have to prove our muscle endurance and everything by doing this little challenge so i'm gonna tell him that we are ready yeah count me in boy let's do this i'm just gonna explain how how it works we gotta start from the bottom we gotta climb back up here within the time limit okay don't fool yourself into thinking you're going climbing we have to pick up rupees too with a passable number of rupees but i don't think he tells us how many rupees is a passable number <laughs> so we just gotta like pick them pick up as many as we can Let's do this. The gut check challenge, it's called. <laughs> oh, and, and he forgot. We have to pay 20 rupees to play. To play this game. Like, come on. Get out of my face. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. I don't know how many rupees we need. But we have three minutes to do this. I'm gonna drop here, regain our stamina, walk back here, pick up this rupee. Hop up here. Yee. How far is this next one? We can actually just pick up that rupee. We can actually just fast climb over here. Let's drop here. Grab this five. Oh, yeah, that's a five rupee. We can actually keep following this path. Look at these rupees. I love rupees. I love, like, the design to them. Just, like, cool looking gems. Give me that. Yee. Yee. Where's the next little station here? Let's get up here. Stop here. Regain our stamina once again. I see a blue rupee just chilling there. Oh, and there's a red rupee, which is worth 20. I'd love to grab that. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Look at that. Get that red rupee. We can actually fall here. Regaining our stamina once again. We're almost at the top. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's a blue rupee that way. Should we go? Yeah, we're gonna go skip that real quick. Yee. 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 There's two blue rupees, actually. There we go. Luckily, our stamina bar is high enough in order for us to just get through this challenge. Oh, we're going to grab this red rupee. I wonder how many rupees we need. Luckily, we keep all these rupees that we collect, which is awesome. Let's go. We can drop down here once again. Regain our stamina. Oh, and actually, the air is not hot, so we could change our armor if we really wanted to. Yeet. Get up there, Link. Do a diagonal jump. Another diagonal jump. Just climb over here so we can fall down here. Land here. Grab this one. Alright. 97 rupees should be plenty. Then we're just gonna head up there. Is that a red rupee again? Because I'll get that. Gonna climb up here. We'll grab that red rupee. Just in case. So we're just gonna refill our stamina. Climb on the wall again. And start slowly climbing our way back down here. <laughs> to grab this red rupee. And then we can make our way to the top. And this should be plenty. Come on, get up there, Link. Yee. There we go. This should be plenty. 127? Yeah, that was glorious. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That was perfect. There we go. Beat the gut check challenge and able to gain entrance to the shrine now, which is awesome. Look at that. There we go. Get off my block. Get out of here, boy. Look at this, now we can head into the shrine and grab a fourth spirit orb in order for us to get another heart container, because that's what I want. Look at this, it's awesome. We got ourselves just a nice blessing shrine chilling here. So we can just walk in here, grab the chest, and grab the spirit orb, and we are golden. We got great frost blade. Don't we already have them? Let's check. Let's check. Yeah, we have a great frost blade, so we're not going to worry too much about it. We're just going to go in here and grab our spirit orb. Making our way out of this shrine, there's actually one last thing that I would love to do. For this episode, we're actually going to fast travel all the way back 
to the Goron City because we have to go sell some rocks. I think we need like 500 rupees in total in order to do this. So we're going to fast travel there and start selling some stuff. Making our way back to Goron City, we're actually going into the clothing shop where we obtain this armor. We're going to talk to this guy so we can sell some things to him. Yeah, I want to sell, boy. What do I want to sell? We should have some nice gems or stones that we could sell. We got some opal. We got some amber. I believe we need 500 in total. So we're going to sell a nice solid, probably like 10 of these. Get 300 rupees off that. And then sell one topaz and we should be golden. No, no key swing. <laughs> we don't want to sell you. You're worth nothing. Let's go. Yes, one topaz. We're actually going to sell two of them. Just have some extra rupees on, on hand for us in case something else pops up. There we go. We're sitting at 818. And now we're actually going to go to our map. After I say goodbye to this chump, we're gonna go to our map and we're actually gonna fly back to Akala to this shrine right here, the Da Hesho Shrine. Now that we've made it to the shrine, we're actually gonna walk to the right side of it, right over here. As you can see, there's, there's a little forest just chilling over here. I believe we only need 500 rupees to do this, but we're gonna glide down here. And as you can see, we got another fairy fountain right here. Woo! So, what the extra fairy fountains do is. There are four in total, so each one we get, we can level up our armor to the next level. So we only have one, we can only level it up to one. Now that we buy this one, we can actually level up our armor to level two, making us stronger and better. So let's go talk to this lady. I believe it's 500. Let's see. Please be 500. 500? Yeah, let's do your story. Yeah, I know you need rupees. Come on. Let me know the price. Yes, 500 rupees, just like I thought. So we're going to give them up, hand them to her. Like, look, at she's just, like, scheming off us. Like, yeah, I won't do anything, but give me 500 rupees. But it is so worth it, considering we can level up our armor to another level. Look at this. She's going to pop out of this little plant. <laughs> <You eat. laughs> yes. Hopefully, we have some material right now to upgrade, but we might not. So, I'm just going to check real quick, see what we can upgrade. And then, end off the episode there. Look at the detail they put in her. Like, I love all the gems on her. Like, it just makes her look like that fairy. Like, she's that fairy fountain. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who released you. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we know you can enhance your clothing. Let's check it out. Yes, enhance away. Let's see. Do we have anything? No, we need three silent princesses and two shards of Pharaoh's horn. Dang, we can only upgrade that. Mm, we can actually upgrade these two, which is nice. We can upgrade our Hylian Hood. I'm actually going to do that. Because that's like our main set we're going to use. We're going to upgrade our Hylian Hood and our Hylian Trousers. Because I like to use the Hylian Hood with the Champion's Tunic and then the Hylian Trousers. This will bump it up from 5 to 8. Give it a 2 star rating. Boom, baby. And we're going to upgrade one more thing, which will be our Hylian Trousers, like I was saying. Because they don't need that much. It's just like ba Baku Blend Fangs and everything. But the thing I need for the champion's tunic is the horn of the electric dragon. So we're going to have to farm the electric dragon. They only come out at like certain times and all that. A boom! Hylian trousers. Level 2. Let's go, baby. No thanks. We're done with you. We don't need you anymore. Go back in your little puddle. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.